Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about composition. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com and select begin. I'll scroll all the way down here to composition tutorial. <coughs> Now the term composition is not unique to Java. The comp uh, composition is a concept of object-oriented programming. By now you should be familiar with the concept of inheritance. Inheritance requires the use of the Java keywords, extends, or implements. When your class inherits members from either a superclass or super interface, you can directly invoke or access those members. Now consider the following code that demonstrates inheritance. You've got a class operating system with a boot up and shutdown methods and a class computer that extends operating system. And this class tests me with the main method entry point. Uh, this statement right here, we're creating a new computer object, assigning that to computer or to the reference variable C of type computer. And uh, we're invoking the boot up method and the shutdown method, right? And of course, computer inherits those methods from the operating system there. Now, in the example above, how many objects are created in the statement computer C equals new computer, right? Well, we're definitely creating a new computer object, obviously, right? But that doesn't in turn create a new operating system object just by simply extending it, no. We're just creating a new computer object. It inherits these methods right here, okay? <clears throat> so we can invoke the boot up and shut down. Now the answer is just one single instance of a computer object, so that's pretty basic. All right, well, now let's talk about composition. In the real world, objects are often composed of other objects. A computer is composed of many objects, a case, a motherboard, power supply, drive, you know, like an SSD platter, etc., whatever, memory, operating system, etc. Now, composition, simply put, is when an object is composed of other objects. Now, consider the following code that demonstrates composition. So we got operating system again here, right, with boot up, shut down, and I threw in a power supply here too, uh, turn on, turn off, and um, class computer here. Notice it's not extending or implementing anything. I've got a private instance variable or a private instance variable OS, right, of type operating system. <clears throat> it's also a reference variable referring to new operating system. And a private instance variable power supply. It's also a reference variable referring to a new power supply object. Okay, and in the computer constructor here, basically I'm invoking the turn on method from power supply, right? And then the OS boot up method from operating system. <clears throat> then I've got a method here called all done. And basically all done will invoke the um, operating system shutdown method, right? And then the power supply turn off method, okay? So fairly simple for the computer class. Obviously you can see we can build on this and add other things very, very easily. So um, in the test me class here, I've got the main method entry point. And when I create, uh, I'm creating a new computer C, right? Our computer reference variable to a new computer object of type computer, right? And then we use the computer and then we invoke the all done method, okay? And then, um, we set C equal to null, which is our reference variable up there. So it's no longer pointing at that computer object that we created. So in the example above, how many objects are created in the computer C equals new computer, right? In this statement right here, when we're invoking the no argument constructor of the computer object, right? Um, we obviously before that created a new operating system object and a new power supply object, and then we invoke the per turn on and boot up, right? So by the time the statement is complete, we actually have three objects, right? One of them is completely visible inside of the main method entry point, and that's the one that C refers to. The other one are internal objects, um, you know, encapsulated in the computer class because they're private, right? Um, so basically, there are a total of three objects created after this, that statement executes. The computer object is the sum of all of its parts. In other words, the computer is composed of its parts, hence the meaning of composition. Now, when the statement C equals null is executed, I'm destroying the computer object. Since the computer is composed of other objects, operating system and power supply, they are destroyed right along with the computer. Now there are no references pointing to the computer object, operating system object, or the power supply object, so all three of those objects are eligible for garbage collection at that point. Now the concept of composition is a critical piece of the puzzle when I begin to introduce you to design patterns. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here and highlight the source code. 
Control C to copy, and or right click and select copy. I'm gonna move my browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. Now, if you're new to my uh, if you're new to my tutorials there. Um, go ahead and open up the command prompt, type in Java C, right? Java C is the Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing and configuring the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that done before you continue on here. See on the screen, cd space backslash cd short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder, and then I'm going to make another directory here called uh, Composition, right? And change directories to the Composition folder. I'm going to notepad composition.java, right? It'll be the name of my source code file. I'm just going to go ahead and do Control V to paste all this stuff in here and save. All right, so in the operating system for the boot up, I actually added, you know, just this uh, display of the console OS is booting up and shut down. OS is shutting down. Power supply, powering on. For the turn on method, turn off is powering off, okay? Now, class computer, it's basically the same thing as what I talked about there, right? And in the constructor, we're going to turn it on and we're going to boot it up. And in the all done method, we're going to shut it down and turn off, right? Okay, so in the class composition here, I've got the main method entry point, creating a new computer object, then we'll browse the internet, write some source code, save the work, and invoke the all done method, right? And then we'll set it equal to null. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's come up here, clear our screen. Java C to compile it. Java to run it. Okay, so powering on, booting up, browsing the internet, writing some source code, saving some work, shutting down, powering off. All right, so that is composition, really kind of a nutshell there. Um, as opposed to like, for example, inheritance, right? Inheritance, we're limited to, we can only extend one class, right? And then we can implement a whole bunch of interfaces. Now with, of course, the advent of Java 8, now we can throw like uh, default methods in there and static methods into an interface there, but you know, it gets it gets hairy trying to expand your stuff out here. With composition, we can easily create a new class called like memory, right? And um, and add it to the computer object there too, and a hard drive class and add it to the to the computer object too as well. So um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that for the for the moment there, and just leave you guys with some final thoughts on composition here. So. As you learn more about design patterns, you will discover that composition is more versatile than inheritance and that you should use composition instead of inheritance whenever possible. Now stay tuned for my next tutorial on, ag on aggregation. Aggregation is very similar to comp composition, only with one very distinct difference. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.